Hey there, crafty friends. Welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Melissa Miller. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California. And today we are going to take a look at three different kits that we have. But first I wanted to mention a couple things. Um, I did a giveaway from my uh, tree lot dye video and I chose my winner on July 31st and that was Margaret Savage. Margaret, I never heard from you. Please send me an email to handmadehugsbymelissa at gmail.com with your address so I can get that foil out to you. And then also I wanted to mention today is um, August 28th and celebration is almost over. Celebration goes through August 31st, which is Wednesday. So technically you've got like three and a half days to make a purchase a qualifying purchase of 50 or $100 either out of our mini catalog or our annual catalog to receive a free item. Um, several of the items are already gone, but Stampin' Up! did add new items. So there are still the hippo dies, or the hippo stamp is still available. I looked this morning. Um, they've got some silver foil in there. They've got embossing folders. There are still some really neat items that you can get for free. So I just wanted to mention that to you. And then also kind of on that same note, our first kit that we are going to look at today is our paper pumpkin kit. Now this was my August kit. Um, and we're going to go ahead and open it. And in our August kit, there is a flyer talking about the holiday kits. So the September kit will be all about Halloween. The October kit will be all about Thanksgiving. And then the November kit will be all about Christmas. And for the um, Halloween kit, they've, they're calling it spooky treats. So you will get 18 treat boxes three different designs and you'll be able to make six of each and that I can't wait to see it. We just know those few little details um, but we don't know what we're getting until we get it. Paper Pumpkin is a one, once a month surprise in a box and this month it is all about these beautiful watercolored sunflowers. So let's go ahead and take a look in this in each kit you always get one stamp and spot, but this month they gave us two. We've got crushed curry and soft suede. We get uh, little glue dots. We get dimensionals. These are the mini dimensionals. We get a stamp set. And in this stamp set, you get these um, leaf images. You get a couple sentiments. And you get these little bees. Now I have seen a lot of bees before, you know, stamps, and they're just kind of, uh, you know, I, I don't really like them because sometimes they're like murder hornets. They're, they're just not very pleasing to the eye, but these little bees in this kit are adorable. And then you get your sunflower stamp and then you get your center image and uh, your sentiment, wishing you so much happiness. Thank you hello for a one-of-a-kind friend and then you know when you're done with the kit this stamp goes in your collection so you'll have it forever so you can use that on other cards we also get this little honeycomb vellum punch outs and we get enough for nine cards here but they also threw in this free item this month of these honeycomb gold foil sheets and these are so pretty and you get eight of those so that was an extra little giveaway this month that we got so let's go ahead and take a look we will just be making uh one of each of these cards because i do want to take a look at the other kits so we've got our instructions we will be making one of each of these cards but i'm going to change them up a little bit and uh, you get your full color instructions and then you have a ruler on the side there. So let's go ahead and get started. We get three of these layering pieces and our envelopes this month. Oh my goodness, look at these envelopes. 
they are just beautiful. They have the watercolor image on there. Now I've seen people cut up the envelopes and use those for layering pieces, but I don't wanna do that. Just because I want to send my cards in the envelopes. I want someone to receive those beautiful envelopes. And then we get our card bases. And what I'm gonna do here, because the card base, once you fold it, you have an image on the front and then the back, but I don't wanna waste that. So I am going to cut these two, and then we will also be using the green card bases. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to kind of get everything organized here. When I do my paper pumpkins, I like to lay it out in an assembly line fashion. So I am going to get started here. And I will put on a little music for you while I cut these up. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this card first. And this one, it looks like it's going to go in, at this orientation, but I need to trim a little bit more off of here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our first card here. All I did was trim out the, um, the image here to be layered on one of my green card bases. And I'm going to use this side. With your very first paper pumpkin kit, you get a block. And that's what we're going to use today. You can reuse that block with um, all your future kits. And we will be using crushed curry. So let's go ahead and open that and get this inked up. And we're just going to bring in our die cut images here, and we're just going to stamp this on there. And I don't think there's any wrong or right way because we just want to get the image on there. And I've seen people turn this image. Look how easy that came out. I've seen people ink it up a couple times and then turn it. So you get the other petal images in there. So we'll turn it a little bit, just center that, stamp it again, and there we go. We've got more of the petal detail. So let's clean off our stamp here, and then we're going to bring in the center. And we are using soft suede for this one. And that looks just a tad darker than what I actually want it. So I'm going to stamp off and then stamp the image. Let's see how that turns out. I want a little bit softer image and that's perfect. I love that. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble our card base. And it looks like we need to put the additional flowers right down here. So let's grab a little bit of our glue. Actually, you know what? Let's throw in some dimensionals. Now, I don't usually read my directions. I probably should, but I just kind of wing it. And that's actually what we're doing today. I didn't have anything planned for this video. We're just kind of winging it. My main concern was just to tell, remind everybody about celebration coming to an end soon. And I also wanted to mention it is the perfect time to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin because you can get a three month subscription. And if you do that now, you will get the September, October and November kits, which are the holiday kits. And I'm really looking forward to those. And that way you can get a start on your um, holiday cards. 
And sometimes that just can be such a, a big help to get an early start on those. So I'm just gonna throw a couple dimensionals on here and I've already got dimensionals behind this piece. So I don't need dimensionals on the whole thing. There we go, I think that looks perfect just like that. So let's take the back off of here. We're going to add that right there. We need to do our sentiment. Let's bring this in and we'll do thank you. You know what, we'll do thank you just like on the sample. These kits can be such a lifesaver. And we are actually going on a little motorhome trip next month. So I am going to take all my um, paper pumpkins that I have not completed yet and work on those while we are away from home. Let's just stamp that. Sometimes when you get uh, the photopolymer stamps like this, they won't stamp a real good image at first unless you kind of wipe them off. So you can give them a little rub with your finger. I'm not sure why. I think it's probably because there's still, you know, some oil on them from the uh, manufacturing process. So just give them a little wipe. Always do a little test stamp just to make sure that looks good. And that looks much better. So let's go ahead and ink that back up. We will bring in our label here and it looks like they're using this one. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp right there. Hopefully I got that straight. I'm not looking directly over it. And that's perfect. So now we can take this out of here we are going to put it in there and I'm going to trim a little bit off. And we also need a piece of our honeycomb, our vellum honeycomb. And like I said, when I do my paper pumpkin kits, I just kind of wing it. So we're going to attach that. Let's put some dimensionals behind here and that will hold our honeycomb in place. There we go. Slip that under there, just like that. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Perfect. And now we've got our honeycomb under there and it will not come out. Let's add one of our little bees. I'm going to cut that. Just so I make sure that it does not stick out. Perfect. Get the backings off of that. And we will place our little bee right there. I love that. Isn't that cute? That's just perfect. Okay, now we will bring in our card base. We can attach that and that'll be one card done. These kits are wonderful for on the go, crafting. Um, even if you're not in the mood to craft, you know, sometimes you want to make something, but you just can't think of anything. These are perfect because they're already ready for you to create. Okay, so one card done there. Let's move on to the next card. Let's go ahead and do this one. And I love this image here. I just love this image on this card. 
Okay, so we'll kind of look at that there. And you know what? I think I need to trim a little bit more off of this one also. I never, I didn't really measure anything. I just kind of eyeballed it. So let's go trim a little more off. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks better for a layer. Okay. And like I said here, folks, I'm just kind of winging it today. We had a, a neighborhood party last weekend. And then Sunday, we were just exhausted. So we just kind of hung out, didn't do much. And I didn't get a whole lot planned during this week. So we're just winging it today. So let's bring in our next stamp, which is the Wishing You So Much Happiness. Put that on our block and they stamped that with the soft suede. Oh, and you know what? I didn't run my hand over that one. Let's test it. That looks pretty good, but I want it to be perfect. Try again. And that's much better. And with your paper pumpkin kits, this is an excellent way to build up your different ink colors. So in this kit, we got the two colors. We got soft suede and crushed curry. And every kit, you get a different color. So it's really, really nice. So we're going to stamp that. I'm trying to center it. I think that's probably pretty good. A little bit of pressure. Lift that up and that's just beautiful. So on this card, it looks like they used one of these strips to put underneath the sentiment. Let's attach this to our card base first and that'll be easier. And I will have a link in the description to purchase Paper Pumpkin. I'm really looking forward to the next three months worth of kits. So let's go ahead and put this right here. I'm just, I'm just winging it. I am looking at the sample from the directions in front of me and we're just kind of going for it. That's how simple these cards are. These kits just make it super easy. We'll put our strip right there. And in the instructions, it has um, all the colors listed that are used. I know I can see Crushed Curry. I see Blackberry Bliss, it looks like. We've got our Mossy Meadow. So let's go ahead and put some dimensionals behind this one. There we go. Super, super easy. We will put our sentiment right there. And now we need to add one of our little bees. I thought I had one little punched out. Let me see, does that have a honeycomb on it? It does. I missed the honeycomb, but that's okay. We can still put it under there. We're going to lift those dimensionals up just a little bit and put that honeycomb. Well, didn't come up quite as easy as I thought they would, but that's okay. We will take those off. This happens. That is because I did not read the directions. So we'll just put some more dimensionals on here. I think that happens to all of us, where after we've stuck something down, we realize that we probably should have done it just a little bit differently. So let's put our honeycomb in there, and then we'll put our sentiment back. 
and that will hold our honeycomb in place. Then we're going to take our B. Let's get a new one. Put a little dimensional behind that one. You know what, this is a smaller one. I am going to use one of the bigger ones. So that way we don't have to cut the dimensional. And we can just add this B right on there. You know what, maybe they're all the same size. All right, let's add our B. And there we go. You know what, I think I want two Bs. I'm gonna put another B on there. We're gonna have this one going the opposite direction. Put it right there. And there we go, card number two. All done, isn't that pretty? I just love that watercolor. Okay, so now we've got our third card and I have my B already here. And this, we are just going to layer on our card base, just like that. We will add our sentiment and a B and a honeycomb, I think. Let's take a good look. No, we don't need a honeycomb on this one. So we've got our sentiment piece and we will be stamping a different sentiment. This one uses you're a one of a kind for, or for a one of a kind friend. And let's go ahead and rub that. Wipe that with our microfiber towel. Get that inked up. And I can already tell that's going to stamp really nice. Do a little sample, a little test. There we go. Ink it up again. Stamp that on there. And I apologize for being a hot mess today. We're just winging it, but we will get through it. Perfect. I love that. Okay. So. I got dimensional stuck to my finger now. So let's go ahead and add our main piece here. And we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on there. It does have the honeycomb, so I'm just going to make sure I get my corners. There we go. We'll put that on there. Get it centered. That's not centered. There we go. That is. That'll stick nicely. We've got our sentiment. Let's put some dimensionals behind that. And these are the mini dimensionals. You can also buy the mini dimensionals in our online store. These are great for smaller items. And this one is pretty plain. Well, not plain. This one is pretty simple. It does not have a lot of elements to it. So let's go ahead and add that sentiment right there. And we need to add a B. Let's put a B on there. And they've got one hanging on the edge right here of the sentiment. So I'm trying to decide, should we put a dimensional or just glue it on there? Let's put a dimensional. Just like that. Perfect. There we've got a B on there and that card is done. See how quick and easy these paper pumpkin cards are? We did three cards in absolutely no time. And you get nine out of this kit, so that was great. Okay, so now I am going to clean up real quick 
and then we will talk about another kit. Okay, so now we've got another kit that I wanted to look at. This video was supposed to be just about our kits and the simplicity and the ease of crafting. So this is our Kindness Cards Kit. And this kit, oops, sorry about that, is in our kits collection in the online store. I will put a link to that in the description below. Now this kit I just love. Okay, so this is Kindness cards and in this kit you get a stamp and spot you get basic gray you get a block for stamping your sentiments you get a stamp set which is great i love this um, no act of kindness is ever wasted kindness wins you are so amazing that's the larger one then you get your smile makes the world a brighter place you get You Shine Like the Stars, Have a Great Day, Inspired by Your Kindness, Kind People Are My Kind of People, Hello, Thanks, Pass It On. And keep in mind, you'll have this stamp set in your collection after you are done. Now, this kit is eight of these little kindness uh, sentimented cards and what they actually are is their chipboard and that's really really nice because they're thick these are so thick you get two sheets extra of the sentiment strips here but you also get two in your little box so you get four total you get the little stickers and you get envelopes to hand them out now I already did one set and I'm going to show you how cool they look when they are completed. So I've got my little box here. Now once these are completed you can keep these in your car, in your purse, in your backpack, anywhere. Keep them in your desk drawer at work and you can hand them out. So all I did was I just stamped the, the uh, sentiment on there. I did my little sentiment strips and I added one of the stickers on there. And then the back is just beautiful. And then they fit in these perfect little envelopes. And you can have these all ready. You know, it's really amazing what something like this will do to brighten someone's day. If someone is having a rough day, things just aren't going right for them. So this one, I didn't put a big sentiment on the uh, front. I put the sentiment actually on the back. And I did use a little bit of uh, dimensional for these, the sub sentiment. Here's another one. And these are just so nice because to brighten someone's day, you just don't know what somebody is going through. You don't know what's going on at home, what's going on in their mind. And to make somebody feel better just makes me feel better, even if I don't realize it. You know, if you give somebody a little card, they're going to hold on to this. You would be surprised. So this is a perfect little kit for kindness. And I just love that. And these are chipboard. These are really thick and they are so nice. So that is our kindness cards kit and you get full color instructions. Again, I didn't look at the instructions. I just kind of winged it, which is what I usually do. And then after you're done, and you put that in your purse or your backpack to hand out, you have all these pieces left over. And it's just so nice because you can make so many other cards. So that was our kindness cards kit. So let's move on to the next card kit. And this card kit, I really liked. Now this card kit is kind of a Christmas card kit, but I saw it more as a fall Thanksgiving type. Um, this is our cozy and bright kit and with this you can also make some great easy easy cards. So again with this kit you get your block for future use. You get your poppy parade stamp and spot to use on future cards. You get this great sentiment stamp set and it's all sentiments. We've got happy Christmas and a joyous new year. Orange you glad it's Christmas because we've got the oranges on there. So a little pun in there. Celebrate the season. All is cozy and bright. 
May this holiday warm your heart. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And it's just fantastic. This makes crafting so easy. You can do this while waiting for the kids at their sporting, uh, you know, events or anything. So let me show you what's in the kit. You get all these punch outs. You get a large sheet of dimensionals. And again, we've got more um, decorated envelopes. I just love that. You've got your punch outs. And we're only going to make one of these because these are all the same. And in this set, you get 12 cards, which is just amazing. This uh, card kit is $23. And then our kindness card kit was also $23. So we've got our card bases here. You get 12 card bases. They've got foil on them. And I just love the colors. These colors are so bright and rich. So let's go ahead and fold our card base. We're going to, oh, you know what? I think I will open it and see what exactly we need. So I do it correctly. We need a, oh, there are stickers. Oh, that's even nicer. Okay, so let's go ahead. We need to put our smaller orange up here in this area, it looks like. Just like that. We are going to take a larger orange, which is a punch out, and we're going to put some dimensionals behind that one. So let's do that. I probably should have made one prior to opening the box in the video, but you know what? We're just winging it, having a good time today. So let's put that orange right there. Then we will bring out this punch out with our cinnamon stick. And I believe this is where we need some of our twine. It says we need 12 inches of twine. So let's get that unraveled. And I'm gonna use, you have a ruler here on your instructions, but I am just going to use this one right here because it's right in front of me. So we've got our twine. And we are going to wrap our twine around the cinnamon sticks. And then we're going to tie it in a bow. Bows aren't always my friend. Let's try again. I think I needed to do a knot first and I didn't. So let's do a little knot in there. And then we will make our bow. Just adjust your ends. That's perfect. And then you can cut off the excess just like that. We will go ahead and add that down here. So I think what we're going to do is we are just going to put some dimensionals behind this part and then glue that part. That's what it looks like they've done there. And these kits are foolproof. You really can't mess them up. Just like that. Fix our little strings here. I love that. That is so pretty, so simple. I love the colors. Okay, so now we need to add some of our, I'm not sure what these are. I'm going to say they're like cloves. So let's go ahead and add our cloves. We've got one here. And we've got another one right here. 
And now we need to do our sentiment. Which sentiment should we use? I think I want to go with, may this holiday warm, no, you know what? That's what's on the sample. Let's do celebrate the season. So we're going to put that on our block that we got with the kit. And I'm just going to rub that a little bit just to get those oils and everything off. And we will use our Poppy Parade since that's what they gave us. Sometimes I change things up and I use different color inks. But today we are just going to use what they gave us. And let's stamp that just to make sure it's a good, crisp, clean image on a scratch paper. And I can already tell it is. That's perfect. So we'll ink that back up again. And we will stamp that on one of our sentiment strips. Let me see the picture. Okay right in the middle there just like that i hope you can see that i've got it down here closer to me there we go perfect then we will punch out that we will add that to our card with some dimensionals Boy, and I'm a messy crafter today, too. I guess that's what happens when you don't have a plan. We will add this to... Oh, you know what? We don't need those. We will add two dimensionals on the right-hand side of our sentiment, and then we will put a little glue on the left-hand side because it hangs over the orange, which is already on a dimensional. Just like that, perfect. And that's one card done. And if you do it assembly line, it'll go so quickly. Punch out all your pieces and keep all your pieces together and then just do it assembly line. That is so easy. Okay, let me clean up and we will take a look at all of the cards that we did today. Okay, so there is a look at the different card kits that we offer and I really encourage you to go ahead, go online and take a look at the kits collection. There are so many nice kits in there that make it so easy to craft and I just wanted to share those with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and next time I promise I will not be um, winging it I will have a little bit of a more uh, more of a plan in mind. And please leave me a comment. Please like, share, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.